Hi Steve, congratulations. A little bit disappointed that you didn't make it to the final because of the injury. Can you tell us why you, uh, or what the nature of the injury was, or why you couldn't fight in the final? Well, you know, my hand was injured, and um, you know, f with this kind of Grand Prix competitions, with all the opens I've been competing at, uh, I have another G4 coming up, which is the Pan Am Championships in less than two weeks, and so I figured it'd be better just to save my hand and be ready for the G4 in two weeks. That's absolutely brilliant decision. I 100% agree with you on that, Steve. It's such an amazing experience just to commentate on your performances here and watch your games. It was brilliant to do that. Like I said, I've been following you since your first Junior World Championships yeah. in '96. What motivates you to keep competing, Steve? You know, I, I, I really feel that God's blessed me with, with the gift. Um, I'm passionate about this. I, I love competing. I feel alive when I'm out there. And, um, you know, a lot of people tell me, why do you keep continuing going? I mean, after I won two Olympic gold medals or two world championships, people were telling me just to stop while you're ahead. You know, this is sport. Sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. I never think I'm going to lose. I always think I'm going to win. And so for me, as long as I can keep kicking, as long as I can keep continuing to do this at a, a very good level, at a very high level, and feel that I could be the best, I will continue to do so. Absolutely brilliant. Also, you've adapted your style over the years yeah. to as the competitions evolved, you know, first of all with PSS and the rule changes. How do you feel this compares now to the earlier years when you were competing? You know, it, it's taken a lot of getting used to. Um, you know, my first time competing at the World Cup was in 1994, um, and all the changes from then until now, uh, it's, gonna, it's taken a lot of use to uh, for me, you know, just seeing things and you know, uh, I, I adapt. Uh, these are the rules, uh, whether the three points of the face, the punching, the falling down, or whatever the rules may be. Uh, I've learned to adapt, and uh, you know, I have to thank my brother Gene, uh, the best coach. Uh, I might be a little biased, but uh, for me, uh, the, the synergy that we have, I think, has uh, helped me a lot. I think today Gene's done some brilliant use of the uh, video replay appeals. Yeah. Um, that really did make a difference. It kept the... the kept you in a head like as you should have been so um, yeah all credit to Gene on that one and you know it must be a special relationship for you with such an amazing Taekwondo family the royal family of Taekwondo as we say back in England thank you yes um, like I said thank thank God for having a brother like like Gene uh, is a wonderful coach um, and I think that's what I had to attribute that a lot to my success because you know it's a lonely position being at the top or, or, or trying to go for a goal or dream like being at the Olympic Games or winning a gold medal and so having my brother having my siblings there alongside me uh, it really does uh, make a big difference. Well like I said Steve I'm a great fan and it's been an absolutely amazing watching you compete today to the semi-finals of the Grand Prix. Good luck in the Pan American Championships and we're all hoping to see you in Rio 2016. Thank you so much I appreciate it. Yes, thank you, Steve. Thanks so much.